Uh, Mr. Chambers, if you could just finish your story again uh, and announce that the the uh, yeah, yeah, association that was <coughs> formed was called the Cinema Veterans Association yeah, with yeah. his father in. Yeah, that's so. Uh, the association was duly formed, uh, of which your father was a, was one of the members of yeah. the committee, yeah. and uh, it's gone on from strength to strength. Well, after our first meeting, as I said, there was 103 present there. At our dinner, uh, only about a month ago there, there were 276 there, present there. And it is thriving. It's thriving so much that uh, nobody was prouder than I to hear that they had sent a cheque for £1,000 to uh, uh, make a, a fresh bed for our home at uh, Morecambe. Oh, yes. Now, Mr. Williamson, mm. to go back a bit yes. to the days in Brighton, I believe you also shot newsreels yourself, didn't you? Well, uh, I, I did go over to uh, uh, Paris, Paris floods, and that was the, uh, one of the earliest newsreel uh, something, so I think. One, it was first the one father made, anyway. And then we took photographs of the Seine, splashing up against the Bond Nerf, and the Eiffel Tower uh, flooded, and the railway siding below the Eiffel Tower flooded, with the vandal edges of the carriages just showing above the water. And uh, the restaurants were all no electricity, of course, all had candles and bottles. And if you walked down the street, you had to walk along planks on trestles. And that. Uh, uh, when we got back, that was shown uh, two days later, which was quite good for those days. I'm not quite sure where it was shown, somewhere in Brighton, and also a copy came up to London, but I don't know where that was shown. What year would that have been? Uh, that was uh, 1905. And Mr. Chambers, also to, to go back a bit, um, you were describing before about film shows in town halls. What kind of apparatus did they have? Did you yourself operate the machine? Well, uh, the whole thing went in a theatrical basket. There was a, a separate case for the projector itself and the stand was all combined together. And the customary bamboo sticks which you've seen there at all these amateur performances.